Mitch. I stand in front of you today, the luckiest man in the world. Today, I get to marry you. I get to have you, the love of my life, and my best friend, and my biggest supporter, <laughs> and the coolest, most beautiful person in the world at my side as my partner for the rest of my life. There's many promises I want to make to you today. I promise you'll never have more fun with anyone than you do with me. If you've been thinking about the coast You're all I've been thinking of You're all I've been thinking of Billy, you make everything infinitely better. You have this sense of self that is so rare and so beautiful. You are so comfortably you, always, and in turn allow me to be my truest self when I am with you. You are confident yet humble, often the smartest one in the room, yet the quietest voice at the table. And not just because it's impossible to get a word in edgewise at the O'Driscoll dinner table, <laughs> but because you are thoughtful, deliberate, and have nothing to prove. You never rush to any conclusions, ever ready to consider your own biases and understand all perspectives, educating my passionate yet impulsive self along the way. Cool Rach, I promise to always give you funny new nicknames, just like some of your other lesser known favorites, like Pirate Rach, Queen of Darkness, and Darling Angel of Love. I promise to always lift you up, to be clear, physically, you've not chosen the best husband. <laughs> For that? <laughs> Billy, I love your giving nature, and how naturally helping others comes to you. Your generosity knows no bounds. You give and give and give with no expectations in return. There's no keeping score. You do this with your love, your time, your energy, and your wisdom. I could go on making promises. Um, or saying things I love about you. But there's one more thing that I love most of all, uh, and it's your soul. And I thought about this for a while, and I don't think soul is the exact right word, but what I mean is that the particular way of being that makes you, you. Um, and it animates everything that you do. In preparation of writing these vows, I read through countless love letters you have written me over the years, both platonic and romantic, each one so vividly reminding me of the purity of your heart, your willingness to be vulnerable, your ability to incorporate a joke into just about anything, and your surefire ability to make me laugh, whether I've heard it a million times before or it's your newest dad joke. And no matter how we grow and change, I know that soul will always be there. And you will always be you. And there's no possible way I could ever stop loving you and that soul, and cherishing you, and supporting you, and living life alongside you, and working my hardest to make our life together the best it can possibly be. Billy and Rachel, you have consented together in this ceremony to live together in marriage. You have sealed your vows in the presence of your close friends and family and by the giving and receiving of rings. And with that, it is my pleasure and great honor to present the newly united couple for the first time as husband and wife. Billy, you may now kiss the bride. I've seen the northern lines, the British countryside, every single southern college town. Sat with important men and 
felt like one of them Stood at Cyprus in between the clouds Thought I'd seen all there is to see You both demonstrate every single day that love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, pompous, inflated or rude. It does not seek its own interests, is not quick tempered and does not brood over injury, except maybe during board games, <laughs> where let's just say your competitive natures comes to the fore. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Today is only the beginning of we believe will be an amazing life together. Love each other deeply, madly, look after each other, make each other your number one. Dance in the kitchen whenever the mood takes you. <laughs> and we wish you an abundance of blessings. Spend all this time chasing my dreams And none of them came true till you were here with me It's a wonderful world filled with fabulous things I traded all the way to have you here with me Rachel has such a special impact on the people that she meets and it is clear by all of those who are here today. So many of you are people that Rachel has met throughout different walks of life and at different times of her life. Many of you live more than a thousand miles from Rachel, but you've managed to develop a special relationship with her because of how charming she is. What I really love about Rachel and Billy is that they share many of the best qualities while also acting as a yin and yang in many ways. They are both smart, caring, humorous, and competitive. I would like to give you both one rule um, to follow for the rest of your lives and that is to just love each other every single day to the most that you can and you'll, you'll live the happiest lives of your life. I remember saying, when we were still just friends, I want to marry someone like Billy. But Billy, you're incomparable. There was only ever you. I believe myself to be the luckiest woman alive, to be your partner, your best friend, your darling angel of love. Fabulous things. I trade them all away to have you here with me. Trade them all away to have you here with me.